So today we're talking about the different risk types of a bank. And let's think about why we are doing this. We have said that risk management at a bank means that we need to balance the risk position of the bank or the risk that the bank loses money with its equity, right? And in order to do that correctly, we need to understand the risks of a bank, right? And usually a bank says its risk position is made up of different what we call risk types. And in this video, I will give you the four most important risk types that are most important for most banks, right? But there are actually a lot more, right? I've seen a bank which considers 120 risk types. I've also seen it, but most banks of normal complexity have about 10 to 12 risk types, all right? But by far the most important one for most banks is called credit risk. Credit risk is simply the risk that you give a loan to a creditor, maybe a company or maybe a private person, and this person doesn't pay you back, right? And if the person doesn't pay back your credit, you as a bank make a loss. The second most important risk type for, for many banks is called market risk. And market risk refers to a change in market parameters. What could this be? So uh, an important part of market risk is currency risk, right? Maybe you have, you're a German bank, so your balance positions are in euros, but you have given a loan in dollars, right? So if the dollar changes, then the value in euros changes, right? What is also part of market risk is changes in equity values, right? Maybe you have invested in equity stocks or shares and if the values of those stocks or, or shares change, um, this is called a market risk. Yeah. Another important risk type is called operational risk. And operational risk is a bit different than the other ones. Operational risk refers to costs that arise in the operation of a bank. One of uh, the most prominent examples of an operational risk is that you have a banking clerk and this clerk... Um, transfers money to a wrong party, right? And then this money money is gone. Right? So the, the bank has to pay for this transfer um, with its own money or funds, right? So this would be operational risk. And the fourth risk type is called liquidity risk. And liquidity risk is not that trivial, so I will explain it in a separate video. But if you think about the risk position of a bank, so what could happen to a bank, then those four categories entail the most important events. Yeah. And if, if as a risk manager, I understand all those four categories, I can actually understand the risk position of a bank and thereby adjust the equity that is needed. And banks are forced to use certain rules or a framework on how this risk management process works. And this framework is called the Basel framework. And this is what I'm going to explain in the next video.